This conference will now be recorded. Okay, some of the Docker terms we are going to see. The first one is Docker file. Docker file is nothing but a source code which is used to build a Docker image. The Docker source code consists of Docker base image and our application deployment steps. Okay. Uh, again, the Docker file consists of multiple layers. Each line is called as a layer. And uh, when we building a Docker file, we'll get a Docker image. We'll see some sample Docker file. This is the sample Docker file. Uh, here, if you see. Uh, I'm using a base image from is nothing but uh, I'm using some base image open JDK colon I'm using Java 8 JDK and then I'm exposing the port number 8080 it's nothing but uh, 8080 is a Tomcat port I'm going to run a simple Spring Boot application for that purpose I'm using this uh, I'm exposing the port 8080 and then I'm adding a file from this location. Target Spring Boot iPhone Swagger 2.0.1 uh, snapshot.jar to Spring Boot API.jar. At the beginning, just I'm executing this uh, this keyword uh, uh, endpoint, sorry, entry point Java, and then I'm passing the memory for my Java applications. And uh, jar, since I'm executing the jar, I am giving iPhone jar and then Spring Boot API.jar so that it will start my executions. Next term is Docker image. Docker image is nothing but when we're building a Docker file, we'll get a Docker image. Uh, again, when we uh, building a Docker image, it, it will go and download all the dependencies and it will build a new, new Docker image. Docker container. When we execute the Docker image, we will, we will get a new virtual machine, lightweight virtual machine. That virtual machine is called as a Docker image. Docker Hub, Docker Hub or Docker Registry. Docker Hub is nothing but a central cloud repository where we can store our Docker images and we can return from the multiple places. Again, Docker Hub is similar to GitHub. Whereas in GitHub, we will store a source code. Uh, here in Docker Hub, we will store the Docker images. Uh, this is the website. Docker.com, where we have our actual registry. You can go and uh, sign in here. You will get a lot of images like Nginx, uh, Appling. PC box, HTTP server, Redis, and then MongoDB, and Ubuntu, Postgres, SQL, Node.js, MySQL, and then Registry, Hello World, GoLang, CentOS, like that. We'll get a lot of images here. We can take uh, either we can uh, take this as a base language, and then from here we can uh, execute our actual code. Again, the same thing is maintained by us. If the Docker registry is maintained by us, it is called as a private uh, repository. And we 
we have docker server docker server is nothing but a docker engine where our actual docker image uh, container will execute whereas docker client is a cli tool which is used to communicate with the docker servers now my server is up I'll convert my PPK file into Starting my doctors. Doctor version. I'm uh, my client version is 18.03, uh, 18.06, and then API version is 1.38. Uh, since it is developed by Golang, Golang version is 1.0, 1.10. And then the commit ID which is available in the JIP is E68FC7A. And then when lastly this build has been taken, and what is the OS architect, those information is not present here. So some of the common terminologies we saw, we now we will see Docker commands. First one is Docker build. Docker build is nothing but from the source code that is from the Docker file. If you if you want to build a Docker image, you have to execute this command Docker build. The syntax is. Docker iPhone P and then tag name and then we have to put dot again we have to execute this command from from where actually our Docker file reside okay uh, otherwise we have to give a location here uh, if if the doc if we are present in the current working directory the docker file is present in the current working directory you can give dot if it is present in a different directory we have to give the path the next command is docker run docker run iphone it if you give iphone it it is an interactive mode and then you have to give iPhone IT and then you can pass how to specify the tag name or image name. So tag name will put as image name. The 
image name is user defined. Here we have to give the same name what is uh, available in our uh, uh, image. And this is one syntax. And the next syntax is if you want to run the Docker container as a daemon, we can use this one Docker run hyphen b. If you pass hyphen b, it is a daemon. Machine so that it will run in the background. If you want to, if you want to uh, map the Docker port into our local host, you have to pass like this host port colon Docker port. Docker image is a command which is used to Docker image is a command which is used to list all the images in our uh, uh, particular host. is used to list the uh, running process, running Docker process. Docker stop and then container ID. You can stop the running container. If you want to start the running container, you can use this one. Docker start. And then container ID. Docker info is there. You will get information about your Docker version. Docker. Inspect is there. Again, using Docker inspect, you can get a complete information about your Docker. How to pass your container ID? Container ID and then Slash bin base. Okay, these are some of the common commands uh, which we use in the day to day life of our Docker. We'll see what is the use of each command. Sir, please share this uh, text file. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, uh, Krupal, I'll share this comments to, with you. Okay, okay. First, we'll go to this Docker Hub, and then we'll see. We'll take this uh, HTTP. This is the official HTTP site. Okay. Uh, 
first I will execute this command docker docker images when executing docker images I don't have any images uh, like that I'm executing docker ps again I don't have any information docker info again it will giving a complete information about my docker okay. here they gave a command called docker pull okay docker pull is nothing but Docker pull and then image name. Okay, I want a HTTP server, so just I'm copying this uh, to my clipboard. I'm executing here Docker pull HTTP. This image having around uh, seven to eight uh, layers. This each layer, this each line is called as a layer. It will go and pulling each layer, and then it is it is extracting in my system. If you see the status, the download a uh, newer image for a HTTP. That is HTTP colon latest. Which is, latest is nothing but I'm taking the latest versions. If you want any specific versions, you can go and take it. If I execute Docker images now, I am having one images, one image that is called the repository name is HTTPD, tag is latest, image ID is uh, this is my image ID, and then it's created six days ago, and then size of my image is 178 MB. If I want to run this one, I can run like this. HTTP, HTTPD usually run on the port 80. If you want more information how to run, you can come down here. They will give what is HTTPD. The Apache HTTP server, collectively called Apache, is a web server's application notable for playing a key role in the initial growth of the World Wide Web. Uh, originally based on the NASCA HTTP server the development of the Apache being in the earlier 1995 after working on the NCSA code styles Apache quickly overtake the NCSA HTTP as dominant HTTP servers and then has renamed the most popular HTTP server is used since April 1996 and how to use image they are saying that what what are the content they have and then docker build iphone t iphone m okay if you want to uh, create some docker your custom docker image using this httpd you can go and use like this you can put a from httpd and then you can create a docker file using the docker file they are asking you to build and then they are mapping their docker files into a mission port so we are also going to run this one docker run iphone 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 it i'm running in an interactive mode iphone p since it having a port i'm mapping the port number i'm mapping to my 8585 8585 is my server port and then 80 is my container port and then i'm giving my repository name that is httpd running maybe we can try to access it from the outside I think uh, they have a simple uh, 
things in it its box if i stop this one again i'm refreshing it won't work again if i starting i'll get the same content they want to run this process in a background i can go on into the it i can go and give d so that it will run in the background see, see in docker images i have one image docker ps one process is running if you see here this is my container id this is my image name and then command which i used is http to iphone for group and create created 16 seconds ago uptime is up to 15 seconds and what is the port number it is mapped with this port number uh, 0.0.0.0 it's 80 slash tcp 80 slash tcp is my container port and then this 0.0.0 is i'm uh, mapping with my host operating systems and then it will assign some random name to the to my container if i want i can give my custom container name also okay again mm, we have this command docker execute i'm giving this container id slash bin slash bash Now I logged into my Apache machine. If you see uh, who am I? I'm as a root user. Here also I'm a root user. Okay, one second, I'll see where actually the file is reside. Can't do anything. Cat index. You see here, it it having it is works. So the content is copying there. We can't edit since we don't have a VI tool inside my virtual machine, so I can't edit this one. I came out of my container. Still, uh, Docker images. I have one images and Docker PS. I have one running port. If I want to stop this one, I can go and use this command <coughs> docker stop and then my container ID. So that my process will stop, it won't execute. Docker PS, there is no container. If I give docker PS iPhone A, it will show all the list of containers which, which is in stopped state. HTTPD, it's uh, created three minutes ago and exited 30 seconds ago. And what is the port number they are, they are giving here? If I want to start the port, uh, again the container, I can start like this. Docker, start, and then container ID. If I give now, it's mapped to 8585. Now my container will up and run. If I want to do an inspect, I can go and see all the information about my containers. For example, this is my container ID. And when it is created, you know, what is the path? 
arguments what are the states it is having uh, state is equal to running and uh, running is true passed is false restart is false like that it will give all the informations and also it will show the network related informations to which port it is binded those kind of stuffs if i want to kill the process uh, suppose i want to remove from my background also i can use this command docker rm syntax is docker rm and then my container id this two process are removed but still it is occupying my system memory so what i am doing i'm going and removing this one docker rm and then i'm giving the command both the commands are removed now only one process is running in the foreground uh, sorry in the background so if i want i can stop and then i can remove it docker stop either uh, i can use this container id or i can use this name to stop it i stopped it is stopped exited and docker rm and then i can give this name and then i can remove it there is no uh, nothing is running in my machine okay what i'll do i'll create a simple docker file uh, this is this is how we have to give the file name uh, the file name is docker file is d caps docker file what i am doing is i am using the same content whatever content they gave here i am using the same thing the slight modifications what i am doing instead of this one i am using i am copying the index.html from my current location to to my container location slash user slash local apache to slash http i'm creating index Now I'm using Docker build iPhone T. I am tagging some name to this Docker image. My HTTPD, and then I'm giving dot so that it will consider as that location. Now my Docker image is created. the docker image have two layer the first layer is from http 2.4 and the second layer is copying a file from my uh, current location to the container location you see now i have two two version of http one is http latest another one is http 2.4 and this one is the image which i created 19 seconds ago so what i am doing i am going and running docker Build, sorry, Docker run, iPhone D, iPhone P. This time I'm pointing to age age zero eighty eighty. Sorry, double eight double eight two by port eight zero, and then I'm giving my container name.
this time when i executing 8080 it will show docker training because since in the uh, html which i passed there i specified as uh, uh, docker training so it is showing the content which is present inside that one okay but if i want if i made any changes again i have to go and uh, uh, re rebuild my image and then i have to bring it so uh, i can map my local port for uh, again docker won't process the data inside it so we if you want to process the data inside it we have to attach volume for that uh, if you see here we have option to attach a volume iphone we using iphone we we can attach the volumes so that whatever content we are passing from uh, from the attaching host location from where you are mapping the content has been copied automatically to the uh, container so i am passing this information docker stop then we'll give this command ls what i'm doing i'm creating a directory called test What are content present inside my test folder? I'm mapping that to HTTP docs uh, so that I can uh, make a changes in the runtime. You see, LS, I have nothing. I'm copying the index.html to test folder and then I'm going to edit this index.html. Before editing, we'll go and see the changes present here. So automatically, the changes has been reflected in that particular machine. The reason why is I map my host operating system volume to the container uh, container operating system. So that whatever changes I'm doing in my host operating system that will be reflected in the container operating systems. Same like whatever changes I'm doing in my container, it will be reflected in the host. So that I can persist the data again when I'm running the second time, it, it will be work as it is. For examples, uh, we are going to use Jenkins. Again, I'm coming here and then we'll see whether Jenkins is available here or not. Okay, this is the Jenkins official site and these, these images are created by public and uh, it has been pushed to Docker Hub. We'll go and take this latest Jenkins. Jenkins have multiple layers so it will take some time to build. You see here we have uh, Jenkins Jenkins also which is uh, built some two months back and the size of the Jenkins is 700 MB uh, here we have a command how to run a Jenkins For docker run iphone p we are mapping the Jenkins port 8080 to our host port 8080 
and one more port is there are two ports running in a Jenkins. One is 8080, another one is a 50,000. Uh, These two ports we are mapping to our local host. Even I can go and use here as my, uh, I can run my Jenkins as a container also, okay. Uh